changed CB boots on a Mark III Focus ST or RS. The process is exactly the same for both vehicles. The passenger side drive shaft is the same on both vehicles, but the driver side drive shaft is different. Obviously, the RS being all wheel drive, it, drive shaft has to go through transfer blocks. But the boots are exactly the same, so you can follow this for either side. Today, I'm using genuine Ford kit. I tend to only really use genuine Ford CV boots. Uh, if you're using aftermarket ones, the process is still going to be the same, but I'm just going to run you through how to do this. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the bands on each of the boots. You can use a battery pad angle grinder just with a cutting disc. If you haven't got one, uh, easiest way would just be a hacksaw. They're quite soft metal, so you can just cut straight through them. Obviously, it doesn't matter if you cut the boot because it's going in the bin. Once you've done that, just open them up. Be careful, obviously, they're going to be a little bit hot. So, a little screwdriver. Just open them up and remove them. You want to pull the boot back and pull the joint apart like that. Clean up all the grease, make sure get this nice and clean, brake clean and rags. To make life easier, I like to just cut the boot. That way you can just separate it like that. Now you've got this all nice and clean, you've got to take this tripod bearing off. It's just held in with a snap ring, so use some snap ring pliers, sometimes a little screwdriver just to help ping it off, makes life a bit easier. Make sure wearing safety glasses though, if that comes off, hits you in the eye, it'll blind you. There you go. Now you wanna knock this off. Sometimes you can just pull it. And I personally always mark the top. Just makes it easier to ID it. And now we're going to slide this outer boot off like that. This is why you can't change the outer boot without doing the inner boot because this joint doesn't easily come apart. So you, you always slide it off like that. Now we're going to give this a good clean. Now the shaft's totally clean. You want to make sure that all of here is as clean as possible. The outside of this is clean and this is clean. Because if you've got any grease re residue, it's just going to leak past the boot. So the boots are sided, one's completely round, this is your outer boot. You want to put your band on just over the boot now because it's easier to do that way. I'm going to slide it on and I tend to twist it as I turn it. Don't go on all the way because we're going to put some grease in. You just want to get it fairly close, a bit like that. So you can put this in a vise. I've just got an old hub because we obviously we do this a lot. You want to basically fill this all with grease without getting grease on the boot because this has to join onto this. It's got to be completely clean. Otherwise it will leak grease. So just cut the corner off your grease bag, squeeze it out and fill it up. If you think this is going to touch, then obviously just slide it up the shaft a bit. So once you've got all the grease in there, you need to look at it. You go, okay, that's getting a bit close to that edge for my liking. When it's upright, this is how we're going to slide the boot in. So any excess. You just want to wipe it away. Always kind of like build a little wall. Once the boot's on, then we'll move the joint around lots to make sure the grease is all the way in there. Spray a bit of brake cleaner on a nice clean rag. Just so we can wipe this edge down. So this is completely clean. There's no grease in here. So it is easier if you've got someone else here and then they can hold the top of the shaft, but you basically want to twist this down.
pull the boot down, so it clips in like that, and now it's in the ridge. Now we can bring this top bit down until it goes into its ridge. You feel it, go in like that. Then you take a small ring, slide that over, and just work it around until the little tangs are over it. Beautiful. Now we can squeeze this, make it tight, and same with this one. Cool, that's our outer joint done. Now we're gonna take our inner boot. We're gonna put the small clip on first, and it's gonna slide down and that's the ridge for it, but we're gonna go past it, makes life easier. So same as the outer boot, it's easier if you twist it. So about that. Take our tripod, remember I marked which end was the top. Line up, it's lines. Now if it, it slides on, or sorry, it slides off really easy because there's grease. There's no grease, it's a bit tighter. So you can just get a socket and just gently tap it down. Now really important with your socket, you wanna just pull these bearings out because you don't wanna be hitting these. You want a socket that's big enough to fit on this, but not small enough that the shaft will stop it. So this just fits nicely. You can just give it a bit of a tap. Cool, that's down far enough. Now we can get our snap ring on. The kits come with a new snap ring. Make sure it's fully engaged. Sweet. Okay, so our cup, that's all been cleaned out. Again, you can put it in a vise. I have this from doing the Mark II. So when it's the Mark II, I stick it in this spider gear in there, but with the Mark III, it sits quite easily in there. So it's nice and easy. Fill it with grease. Now you want to take your adapter ring, the holes go downwards. Make sure you don't get any grease on it. Pop it in like that. Now you want to put your shaft in. I have pushed the grease down, it made life a bit easier. But you want to just gently slide her in. And you want to do it slowly, because you don't want grease to spurt up onto the boot face. And if it starts to come out the sides, you just want to brush it over with your finger. You don't want to get grease on this rubber part. Slowly does it. All the way down at the bottom like that. So I've just got a little bit of grease on the corner there, so I'm just going to just wipe that off. Beautiful. So this is all nice and clean. And now you want to slide this down, and we're going to get this bit over the ridges. All the way down like that. And then this bit is coming all the way down. There you go, it had it clear because it's in the ridge. Squeeze that, squeeze that. And you're done. Refit it to the car.